Hey yo, what's up everybody? Home here and welcome back to some more Mortal Shell Part 2. And today we are gonna be doing well we're gonna clear out a little bit of Fogrim and uh, we are gonna get our setup ready for the main areas. Uh, right here I'm just gonna fix up my quick slots because then I think like every time you reset or something like that or you die um, your quick item goes back to the first one so I always want it on the mushrooms this is pretty much your Estus flask or your healing item your herb your herbs um, which they don't I mean you can wait from look there's like the circle meter once it depletes like it's gone then um, you can harvest them again but it, it you gotta have to wait uh, if you want you can sit there and just farm them if you want but it's I don't know, it's kind of a pain and up there that's the Falgrim tower which is where we're gonna hit up first this game doesn't really give you like it it like in the beginning this is pretty much like your central hub area kind of sort of um you don't need to fast travel anywhere and there are all these assholes that are semi easy to deal with but they also hit pretty fucking hard so yeah right here i mean you can take the time to take them out because we need some tar that's the currency in this game that's like your souls which we will need to like unlock skills for our shells and also we need tars to buy things so yeah uh if you want you can you know farm these guys and get some tars and you can buy some upgrade items you got you can actually buy two upgrade items one costs 2500 so you need total 5000 to get a, an upgrade part which after you do an upgrade your weapon becomes more like useful i'd say because it's like the weapon's pretty shit on um when it's clean it doesn't really hit hard. I mean, it's hitting these guys all right, but once we um, fight some bigger enemies, it doesn't really hit uh, as hard as you would like. So it, I don't know. <laughs> and I stepped on a fucking bear trap here. It's kind of hard to see sometimes because the whole area is all gloomy looking. So here I'm just killing some guys, getting some uh, XP or cars currency as we make our way up to Fulgrim Tower. Here we have uh, we have boiled frog which will allow us to get more stamina. This is only useful for now. Um, Later on, because uh, we're gonna get a shell that's based on stamina, so this won't like stamina won't be much of an issue for us. Uh, we just need to worry about dodging, which you get a lot of invincibility frame for the shell that I'm gonna go for. Uh, in this video, I'm pretty much gonna cover all the shell locations, uh, even though it wasn't my intention, but they're pretty much all just on the way, so. Might as well show it to you guys. There's only four shell, including the the default one that you get. Uh, that lady that was standing down there, that would, that's pretty much your like bonfire, I guess. You talk to her, and then everything resets, and you get all your healing. Well, you get all your health back. You don't get your healing back. This item right here, it's pretty critical because you need this to parry, and parrying allows you to recover some health. Uh, it's kind of like a double-edged sword, actually, because actually, if you miss your, miss your parry, you take a lot of damage. Ah, that's better. Thank you. It's been so long since anyone raised a hand toward me in kindness. You seem different. Untouched by false truths. Unfortunately, I have little to offer you. Save for that tarnished seal in your hand. A small gift, but I expect you will find it useful. Would you grant me another favor? Deep within the temples of the devout, you'll find the sacred glands of the revered. Bring the glands back to me, so I can extract the true nectar. Just enough to heal me. Perhaps you too can use it to free your 
yourself from this wretched land before you end up like me. All right. So he's asking you to get uh three items. Pretty much, it's like the three key items that you need, and then you can free them, and then we can progress with the story. So there's three locations, which we will only go towards one to get our weapon, and then we'll head towards the next one for um for the next episode, which I'll show you guys at the end where I'm gonna go. Uh, right here, we're gonna take on a mini boss. Uh, this guy does. I don't know, looks like a freaking big ass troll thing. Be careful when he does that jump attack. When he slams his claw into the ground, uh, if you're right in front of him, and he, as he pulls out the claw, if you're in front of him, you'll take splash damage. It's really weird. Even if you're like directly behind him, like if you're touching his butt, you will take splash damage. So, yeah, you can parry this move right here. You have the, the resolve for it. Uh, what I like to do is just after he does an attack, you know, do a jumping attack, and then I'll get a hidden. Uh, I'm only fighting this guy just with the hell of it. You can actually just grab this chest, which is pretty much what we here. The chest has an upgrade part for the Hollow Sword, which will unlock its like ability, I guess, which we cost, uh, it requires two resolves. Uh, but it does devastating damage to bosses and it pretty much like one shots some normal enemies So it's it's a pretty good um, upgrade if you're planning to the, the hollow sword which I am NOT gonna I'm just gonna show off this This upgrade that you get. Well, you don't have to defeat him. You can just grab it right now, right now and then like, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to beat this guy just for those of you guys who want to kick this guy's ass. So it's pretty straightforward. It's like... It's like Hayden? 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 I don't even know how to say the guy's name. This, the statue dude that we fought in the tutorial. I mean, pretty much, like I said, there's a lot of hit and run in this game. You hit him once and then you run away. And if he's about to like, you know, start swinging and comboing. Um, and you just harden. Uh, be careful though, because he does have a grab. And I don't know. I don't know if he'll do it. Oh, there's Perry. Perry does pretty decent damage, but it requires one resolve, which you can gain by just hitting enemies. But since seeing how aggressive this guy is, we're not getting much hits in. And our, our weapon's like semi slow, so. It's hard to get that one resolve. That's the combo move. It hits four times, I believe. Watch out for the sweep if you're behind him. One, two, three, four, and then you get one shot in, back away. If he screams like that, that move right there, if he like extends his arms sideways and screams, um, you can see your your item like behind you flash. I forgot what it's called, it's your parry item. Um, those are like unparryable attacks. So yeah, but the the one I was talking about, that's a grab. So even if you do the hardening, uh, it'll still like you'll still take damage nonetheless. But that's the only grab attack he has. So I mean, every time he doesn't attack, I suggest you just back away. So you can you know you don't have to deal with the whole grab thing. Just in case you misread its attacks. So just get one hit in and then back away. That's pretty much like the safest and the easiest way to deal with this guy. And he actually got me with a fucking <laughs> jumping attack there. And semi flying actually. I, I thought I would have taken way more damage than that, but apparently not. Maybe it's just this shell that's that's a little bit more defense. And he he actually got the hit on me this time. And if he kills you the first time, he'll knock you out of the shell. Uh, that applies for any enemy, and I'm playing it really risky here. Um, so you have a chance to get back to your shell. If you get hit in the process, like when you get knocked out, uh, and you die, then you're dead. 
voicemail it sends you back to uh, pretty much the, the lady that was um, in the Falgrim Tower. The Bonfire Lady, I'm just gonna call her that. So it sends you back there. Uh, and if you do go back, get, uh, manage to get back in your shell and you die again, same thing will happen, you'll just die. Alright? If you look at the bottom left corner, there's a circle and beside it, there's a smaller circle. Um, the smaller circle will have a white dot in it if you have a second chance. If you already used up your second chance, uh, then the circle will be empty. Now, the way to get... The way to get your second chance is you can always rest by the lady, the lady that, you know, the bonfire lady. You can talk to her and she'll offer you a drink, take a sip, and then your... Like, pretty much it resets, all your health comes back. Your second chance comes back, but it also respawns all the enemies, all the normal enemies at least. Like this mini boss that we just fought, uh, it will not come back. So we're gonna return to the lady here and then get our second chance back and also get our um, upgrade here, the hollow sword. This will give us four resolves. tells you here it's a special attack you can do with sword talk to her I shall name you family and you may call me sister Janessa you're uninitiated in the Raphael's mysteries I see what a curiosity you are wearing a man like a shell you've awakened him but you know nothing of him yet Fetch me one of his mementos, and some tar too, and I'm sure we can stir up some recollections. Of course, first you must find his name. Alright, so take a sip of a little wine thing. It's not exactly wine, but... Um, you can claim a shell right now, which you can like then gain access to its abilities, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to main this one. There's going to be another one that I want, so yeah. And right here outside, there's uh, there's two mushrooms. Be careful because the orange one will poison you. Um, the red one, it's pretty much your like key healing item, so try to hold on to it as much, as much of those uh, red mushrooms as possible. So, right here, it's our, it's going to be our second shell. And this one, it's, I think it's like the most OP one because it has the most resolve. I think you can carry up to six uh, when you do like, it's upgrades and stuff. This guy's uh, pretty much a nobody. There's going to be a, <laughs> a way stronger version of that. Once we go for the shell I want, which is Teal, uh, the rogue shell. And um, yeah, you have to fight a freaking mini boss for that one. And note that every time you possess the shell, uh, you will just equip the shell right there and then, okay? But you can also go back to Falgrim Tower and then switch it out. So, you know, if you don't want this one, you can also go back to the. I mean, you can always go back to the Falgrim Tower and then put on the shell that you do want. But this one, I believe, is Solomon. And yeah, like I said, it's one of the more OP shells. Uh, currently has five resolve, and I think you can get a sixth one uh, by unlocking its abilities. So yeah. So with more resolves, more you can spam the weapons special attack and then later on you can also buy an item which i believe it costs i think it's 3500 tars and it'll allow you to gain resolve a lot quicker so yeah and right here okay i'm gonna right here i'm gonna be making my way towards the shell that i seek okay and i highly recommend you don't fuck around with these guys right now i mean you can if you want uh if you want to get some tars which 
that was my intention and also my other intention was to kind of show off uh which turns out to be a mistake okay so <laughs> i highly recommend you don't spend any resolve right now but this is what the parry looks like okay which requires resolve to parry i mean to repulse it requires resolve um you can just parry but like without resolve but then you won't be able to repost so there's that and also if you land a repost um you will get health back watch this look some health comes back so yeah it's like if you if you want to conserve your healing item that's one way to go about it but like i said before don't spend your resolve now okay this is a stupid mistake right now i'm showing you guys so you can follow this path and you can kill those guys but make sure you try not to take damage and don't parry okay that's very fucking important and keep this shell on for now um reason for that is because the mini boss that we fight he's pretty quick and upon getting hit you will get poisoned so it's best to deal with them as quickly as possible so uh you want at least four resolves going into the fight so you can end the guys this was stupid i don't know what happened there like fucking the the lock on just swapped out of nowhere it was, it's kinda, it was dumb it got made me get hit there but yeah uh you want to have four resolves going in okay this is the Look at me like fucking pretending I'm all pro at parrying, but this is gonna be a mistake. <laughs> so do as I say, not as I do. But if you wanna take on these guys, you know, just be a little bit more cautious than I am because I'm being stupid right here. Um Yeah, you don't have to. You can just always just follow this path. But I'm gonna take these guys on just for the sake of getting some car because I want to get at least one upgrade items or upgrade material if not two. This these big guys, okay that quick attack, I don't know man, like I feel like it's kinda bugged. <laughs> Cause even if they're sitting down, they can just like all of a sudden just spring up with that attack. It's I don't know if that's like supposed to happen or what. But it's I don't know, it's kinda it comes out pretty crazy. They're just sitting down out of nowhere. They're already like right next to you trying to attack you. Without warning. So we got knocked out of the shell right there. Again. For the second time in this video. But as long as we can recover our shell. We should be fine. And right here. Me being a dumbass. I'm still trying to parry. Getting lit up by arrows. Oh, and another thing about like fucking the archers in this game. Oh my god, they're insane. They'll snipe you even if they can't see you. Like they'll shoot the the bolt up towards the sky and they'll arc towards your la last known location, which is pretty insane, man. All right, I was gonna try to parry this guy for some health back, but. Seeing how I'm sucking at parrying now, it's not happening. And I replaced the boiling, uh, the boiled frog with uh, roasted rats. Roasted rats are actually pretty good. Um, if you have characters, or if you have the item that gets your resolve back quickly, um, you can just use the the roasted rats to heal. Or if you're good at parrying, you can use that as well. <laughs> If you parry enemies without any resolve, uh, it will actually bring back some resolve. So that's another way to like get resolve, I guess. But note that you won't be able to do like a follow up. I mean, you will still stagger the enemy. So if that means anything to you, you can go for that. So the shell that we seek is down here. Um, you don't have to deal with this little camp right here if you don't want to. But me being, me being a dumbass, I will, which is also a mistake. So 
Have you made it up to this point? Hopefully you're not watching and following. If you are, hopefully you still have your results. Okay, because that, like I said, come into the mini boss fight with at least four results. Because that is very important to keeping the fight short and uh, keeping you alive. Now, if you are feeling brave, you don't have to come in here with four resolves. If you have one or two, you know, if you're comfortable with that, fine, go ahead. You know, but I'm just saying, if you want this to be a lot easier, come in here with at least four, okay? If you want five, that's better. But at least four, I'm saying. Fucking my parries. Even though I'm like in the brink of death right here. And if you didn't die, it'll be perfect as well, because then you'll still have a second chance in case you like you screw up the fight somehow. You're gonna see me mess up the fight pretty damn bad. I'm like waiting for the heal to to finish here, and I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, I'm not gonna finish the fight. I'm gonna end up wussing out. So, if you made it to this point with full resolve, you'll be fine. Uh, I'll show you guys how to take down this guy with full resolve because I will kill some enemies and get at least full resolve running back, which you guys will see in a bit after I fucking wuss out like a little pansy. See, he hits you and you get poisoned. Like, what is that bullshit? And he can also grab you too. That's just, when he jumps up, like it'll, it'll be a grab. But that, like that item right there, not the glowing thing, the the body laying there. That's the shell that we want. So right here, I'm just like, all right, fuck it. Not nah, doesn't look like I'm gonna win the fight. So for the sake of saving time, I'm just gonna do a little bit cut and editing. And now. This is after the whole farming thing, okay? So that's why I said go into the fight with full resolve because this is this is what was supposed to happen. Um, yeah, but I wanted to show you guys me taking on those guys. Right here, I'm just gonna run by these guys. Like I am not even gonna fight anybody. So keeping my full resolves, keeping as much HP as I have. So that's why throughout the little journey to the shell, I, I keep telling you guys, you know, try to take as little damage as possible and try to not use your resolves if you can. You know, if you can hold on to four, hold on to four. Um, if you can hold on to five, then I mean, it's even better. Uh, you can parry the mini boss. So, I mean, if you can get that down, you can parry him five times. I think it'll do more damage than the weapon special attack. But if you want to take him down quickly without having to use much brain power, you can just save up four and then you can hit him twice with the uh, the weapon special. Uh, he'll stagger a lot. Like, you can just do your normal swings and then it'll stagger. And once you run out of stamina, you know, hit him with a freaking... Uh, Weapon special thing. Press the kick. Alright. Come on, bitch. One, two, three. Ran out of stamina. Got me one hit. Oh, by the way, when you use your weapon special abilities, you are invincible. Okay? Even if a boss is like, or a boss or enemy or whatever, whatever you're fighting is doing an attack that clashes with yours, as like when you're doing the weapon special. You will ignore its damage and you will finish your special. So it's pretty freaking OP. You saw me trying to parry there. Actually, that was a mistake. I don't know why for this game I keep like fucking up the parry and the and the hardening. I guess because like, it's like in Dark Souls, you know, L2 it's parry and. Uh, L1 it's to hold up your shield but in this game it's flipped it's like L1 is to parry and then L2 is to harden so that's why I'm like getting all sorts of fucked up when it comes to those things like I'm trying to harden and I freaking end up trying to parry instead so that's actually cost me a few like a few fights 
but this is the shell that we want see how we have a whole shitload of stamina now but our hp is reduced but not by a lot so that's good but i feel like they gave us way more stamina though so this this is good and if you guys did like you know screw around with resolve and stuff and you wanted to run back before the boss fight this is the route to run back okay i know this well for me, and I'm assuming a lot of people will get confused on like the layout of Fallgrim because there's a lot of like tunnels that lead to like different areas. It's still like the same map, but there's like a lot of like different shortcuts and twists and turns and stuff like that. For me, I got confused as, as fuck when I first played this game. I'm still like a little bit confused. That's why I keep running back to the tower. <laughs> whenever I'm like whenever I get one thing done, I get a shell, run back to tower. I get an upgrade item, run back to tower. Cause that's like my landmark of um, getting to places without getting lost. I, I try to uh, mess around with the tunnels a little bit, but um, I don't know. <laughs> it still seems a little bit um, confusing for me. So, I mean, th this these paths work anyway, so why not? And we got the shell that we want, so let's go ahead and uh, you claim it. Thing. Or should I say, a distinct lack thereof. Where did you find him, Felmy? Do not answer. Just come closer. It's a simple pleasure to glimpse my beloved. Even if he's truly gone, some part of him remains with you. Ah, a small consolation. But I shall accept this mercy. Would it please your withered lips to taste my gifts once again? Alright, now we can actually claim the shells or the shell's name. They foretold the truth more terrifying than any other. Those who glimpse it behold no monster other than an utter lack of meaning. The visage of a razor-thin line between existence and non-existence. And nothing in between. And I'll go over to, like, I'll go over the, the stats on a later time. Because right now, I'm... Um, I don't really care about like the uh, the shell's skills. Right now, I'm just focusing on getting as much tar as possible so I can fucking buy the weapon upgrades. And you can get total of ten per run or play per playthrough. So if you want, like, if you're having a hard time right now, you can upgrade the hollow sword before like doing anything else. But I highly recommend you find a weapon that you want like you can look it up online there's only four weapons in this game and uh and one range weapon which is the ballista zooka that's your that's your only range weapon there's no bows that's one thing that like kind of irritates me because like if there's like three enemies far out in the distance you're just gonna have to like inch your way forward you know to kind of like get one's attention and if you pull two or you're gonna have to kind of run back and um, hopefully you don't run into a dead end or anything like that so that's like one thing that bothers me about this game uh, <laughs> yeah unless you get the ballistic zooka then you can pull them but it requires like I believe you you, you need more like parts from the from the merchant to, to unlock that so, I don't know, it's kind of a drag to me. How oh, you can't just get, not even like a shitty bow in the beginning. So, right now, up in this camp, um, there is, there's gonna be our first upgrade item. But be careful, because there's one of those big guys here. I mean, they're not too much of a threat, I would say, but they do hit fairly freaking hard, so. Special weapon power! He's fucking dead, see? You can take down pretty much all the normal enemies. But I don't know if you want to like spend it on normal enemies. I mean, for our case, why not? And these um these acids here, 
these are your weapon upgrades okay like i said you can get 10 so you can get total of two weapon to max um upgrades and um you only need five per weapon so i'm just collecting it and i'm saving it for the weapon i'm going for which is gonna be the hammer and chisel uh that's the speedy weapon in the game and you also do a wield so that's my main reason going for it <laughs> i mean you can't dual dual wheel daggers or katanas there's no katanas in this game so yeah that's like the next best thing i guess i mean the hollow sword is actually pretty good too um i don't know i feel like it's sometimes like during during some fights it's just a little bit too slow this next thing uh i'm gonna do is to get my my weapon of choice so this is the path you want to take so pretty much back to, from um the fallgrim tower go to the place where you fight the first mini boss and then you go to the right side and i'm just gonna run by these guys snag whatever treasure there is and just keep going okay this this armor actually it's really good for like running around grabbing things so if you like you find find it on the internet where there's a cool item or something like that and then they have a guy to show you where to go or if there's a preferred weapon you want to get but it requires you to get through multiple enemies this is a very good armor or a very good shell to have because when you do your double tap on the dodge you just kind of warp so it's really good for like getting through enemies and i highly recommend you take care of this guy okay because if you don't you go down there because there is going to be a knight with the halberd down there and this guy's been blasting arrows on your ass and it's freaking annoying so I highly recommend you take care of that guy before coming down here um here is our final shell by the way i'm not gonna equip this because i don't want to lose my shell and i don't want to run all the way back to Fallgrim just to freaking equip my shell and then run back here so if you guys want that is the tankiest shell that there is in this game this that's pretty much the tank class uh it has a shitload of hp but in return it has a it has the lowest stamina so yeah i don't know if you guys like like tanking shit i suppose that's that'll be your way to go uh for this guy i highly recommend you fight him on this little narrow path or you bring him down to the open area reason for that is because if you fight him on a tiny stairway that he was standing at there's a good chance he'll fall off sideways if you fall off sideways you're gone all right there is <laughs> you can't float back up or anything like that so yeah it's just like all souls games you fall you die and knowing my fucking luck i ain't even gonna attempt i ain't gonna attempt that shit but pretty much after his attacks uh do a running attack running r2 running heavy attack get one hit in and back off that's pretty much my strat for the hollow sword because like the regular swings are just they're just too slow in my opinion right here there's a merchant and she is gonna be the one that sells you the item right here for forbidden offering so that's what's gonna let you um get resolve faster so yeah if you want like if you want to abuse the resolve system in this game the pretty much i guess the magic quote unquote magic <laughs> Because you use the weapon special of at least, I guess. Or not really magic. I don't know what you want to call it. The specials. If you want to abuse the specials. um, That's a good thing to aim for. So, yeah. Uh, this route right here will take you to one of the main areas. Which we will take on later. This is not the one I'm going to take on first. But I do want to come here because I want to get my item. Or my weapon. The hammer and chisel is going to be at this location. So you come here and if you got a beat up or whatever, you can talk to uh, Sister... Fuck, I forgot her name. 
but yeah. You can talk to the sister for it. And then you rip the book. Oh, it's a spider. Spider book. It crawled inside me. It crawled inside my bones. And so, pretty much whenever you try to unlock a new weapon, uh, that will happen. You rip a book, turns into a spider, crawls in your crawls up your ass, and then it teleports you to this location. It looks like a tutorial area, but Hayden will have Hayden. I don't know how you say. I don't say its name. But this guy will pretty much have the weapon that you seek, and you have to fight him as he has it. And this time. Unlike the first time, you both don't have the same weapon. You have whatever weapon you equip. So, yeah. Uh, for this guy, the hammer, or the hammer, hammer and chisel version. What I like to do is you harden, hit him a few times, run away, and wait until your hardening comes back. If he hardens, run around until he attacks. Jumping attack. If you can, get one shot in. If you can't, wait for him to attack you. Get two shots in, light attacks in, back off, rinse and repeat. Uh, if you can manage to muster up some um, two bars of resolve, you can hit him with the ultimate. So I'm waiting for him to hit me so it bounces, he staggers, get two shots, back away. Wait for my hardening to come back. He hardened, alright, I got my hardening back. Jump attack, quick attack, alright, harden. He bounces, two hits. So just rinse and repeat that, and you will be fine. Uh, be careful when he does his ultimate. Uh, his ultimate, he jumps up in the sky, okay, and he spins while he's doing it. And you can see like a whole bunch of chisels flying around. Uh, when that happens, you it's best if you just harden, because that will save your life. You won't take a single scratch. Uh, if you don't have your hardening up, then I guess you just gotta pray it doesn't kill you. Boom, oh, bitch, get out of the way. And yeah, that's pretty much the strat for this guy. I don't think he ever uses the second ult where he tosses the chisel up and he swings his hammer like a bat and he sends the chisel at you. I've never seen that happen. Maybe he does do it, but I don't know. I've never witnessed it. But this tactic right here pretty much will just carry you home. Uh, if you do get hit by the chisel, hammer and chisel special, um, you can always go back into your shell. Well, assume you can make it there, because this is the fastest weapon in the game, so he might be able to hit you. But if you get knocked out of shell, you I highly recommend you try to let him hit you, but just harden. And right as like his uh, weapon bounces, you just run back to your shell. But yeah, best thing to do is if he does an attack as he's hardening it, you know, just do a running attack running heavy attack and then harden so when he hits you it bounces off and you get two quick attacks. I thought I had him here. Ooh shit. Oh he actually knocked me out. No. Run back. Holy shit, I thought <laughs> I thought that was gonna connect. If he does the ju uh, the running jump attack, best way to avoid it is just roll roll back, roll backwards. Okay, don't try to like sidestep it. I mean, you can try to parry it if you want. And the fish comes comes to eat us. Take us home, baby. So, like I said. If you're trying to get a weapon or whatever, that's pretty much the process you have to go through. You have to fight the guy. If you do die, you will spawn back there. And then, like, if you don't think you, you're you prepared for it, it does, like, before the fight begins again, it does give you an option to call the fish to bring you back. So you're not stuck in there. All right. So that's if you, like, if you do die and um, you don't want to fight him. But, yeah. Uh Oh. Do note that if you die in there and you have souls or tars on you, your body will be left in there. And if you exit out, you I don't think you can get it back. Maybe you can, I'm not sure. But 
And yeah, you won't be leading with your tires. Just, <laughs> just FY, FYI there. Uh, right now, I'm gonna get my weapon upgrade so I can unlock the L1R1 special attack for the hammer and chisel. And also grabbing some, some shrooms on the way, some red shrooms, some healing items. So this is the uh, this is the route to go, and like I said, if you have this armor, it's really good for like running in, snatching some shit, and running away, uh, running out. In this game, usually in um, these type of Souls like game or Souls games, I would go into an area and like clear out every single one, and then you know proceed with the mission. But I don't know if I'm gonna do that with this game. <laughs> this the the healing resources is just so scarce in this game you know and they really make you work for like oh there's the item that we, we came here to get by the way and there's a whole bunch of archers here that's why i keep spamming dodge and also to avoid getting hit by these nobodies so you follow this path out um you want to head on back over here Get onto this bridge area where this light is. And then if you hang a left, that is where you came from. Okay? The reason why we use a teleporter, because that's the only way to go to um get anywhere from the beginning. There's like these bridges do they do not connect. There's gonna be a drop, as you guys will see in a bit. So that's why we use the teleporter. See, there's a lone drop, and you cannot run back up anymore, so, yeah. Um, we didn't take care of the guy in the beginning, so he's still there. This area I'll cover on a later date. This is not the area I want to cover. I just wanted to come here to get my, my weapon and my weapon upgrade. So that is the whole reason why we are here. And once we get that, we'll just run back. And we're really close to 2,500, so we can almost get our s well first upgrade through the merchant. It's not really our first upgrade because we already just did our first upgrade from um, getting it from the chest. So. In this game, once you get one weapon upgrade, your weapon becomes like a lot more useful. Without the first weapon upgrade, I don't know man, I feel like the weapon's garbage. It might as well just be a toy. But once you get those upgrades in, like once you get the first upgrade, it starts becoming more useful. And then like the second one, you know, it just gets better and better from that point on. If you don't have the weapon upgrades, it's, I don't know man, it feels like you're playing a hard mode there. I mean, I know some people like challenges, so hey, that might be your thing. And also, there. Oh, yeah, bitch. Um, make sure you don't fall. <laughs> you do take fall damage, so watch out. Um, where was I going with this? Yeah, I think I, I talked about it in the previous episode, where there is a trophy for not going, uh, going through the. Oh, here's the ultimate, by the way. Just one shot it. One shot of that boom. But, uh, that, and also it's an AoE, so if there's enemies surrounding them, they'll also take chip damage. If not, it'll kill them. So, it's pretty good. These bolts, uh, they are good for... They're used for, I should say. For the Ballistic Zooka. It's so weird to say it. I feel like... I feel like if I don't slow down talking about the Ballistic Zooka, <laughs> I'm gonna get tongue twisted. So yeah, see how awesome this armor is. You can just like zip by people. Oh, there's your fucking Hawkeye snipers back there. Let's take care of them real quick. Yeah, if you plan on like killing some, cause I'm almost like, I'm almost at 2,500. That's why I'm trying to kill these guys. So I can get at least another upgrade.
take out this guy. Oh shit. Yeah, it becomes a lot more better. And I believe the hammer and chisel are also poison as you hit enemies. So yeah, not too bad. Uh Let's get the let's get the tars. Like I said, if you guys want to be like fully prepared, um you can also just keep killing these guys and you know, farm up like a uh, 5,000, no, no, 8,500 cars, and then you can um, go and buy the the resolve buff thing as well from the from the merchant lady, and then you can get the two weapon upgrades from uh, from the fat merchant. Oh shit! He actually hit. Woo! He om that guy almost ended me there. All right, hold on. I just realized, I didn't get my second chance back upon beating uh, Hayden Harden. <laughs> yeah, cause I didn't die when I was getting my hammer and chisel upgrade. And the only time I died was when I fought the the Harden guy. Hardian. Hayden? Hardian? I don't know, I'm pretty sure someone's gonna correct me or shit on me for mispronouncing it. Hopefully I can catch it though. Cause sometimes I... I mispronounce something and then no one says anything until... It's been like a week or two or I'm already finished with the series or whatever, you know. So like, it's, I can't correct it. It's, I mean, I, I don't think YouTube has a... An option where you can do a voiceover of your already published clip. I know they have an option to cut out things when you have um, when you uploaded a a video and you like if there are some inappropriate stuff and they want you to remove it, you can edit it on the YouTube software to like cut out the part. But as for like voiceovering it, I don't think there's a thing. Like I don't think that exists. And you saw that we just used our ultimate and we took care of the small fries and the big guy right here took a decent chunk of damage. So yeah, pretty pretty satisfied with this weapon right now. And just kind of retrace your step back. And this will allow us to get back to the Falgrim Tower. This is where we fought the first mini boss. And the Falgrim Tower is right there. Be careful of the bear traps. Easiest way to avoid them, just stick to the left side as you come back. Uh, you can stick to that side as you go there as well, so. Either or. I know this is kind of a long video, but this is like the setup video. And then after this, we can just proceed on with the main missions. can come here and pet this guy's pet. I mean, pet this guy's pet. Pet this guy's cat. Soft cat. I'm assuming it's soft. It looks soft. My, oh my. Aren't you a rare specimen? Rather dashing in that curious attire. And what if on the inside? You must be a gentleman. Certainly not one of those boorish fanatics. Welcome then, I'll warp some tea. In the meantime, why not take a look at my wares? I'll gladly accept any tar as payment. Goblin wheel, goblin deal. What the fuck have I heard that before? Anyways, here is our second upgrade item. And you do have to drop down here in order to proceed back. There's no like ladder going back up or I mean going back down or anything like that. 
I mean, from the merchant, like if you want to get the bell, that's what you have to do. Um, if you don't care about that, then you can pretty much just, you know, retrace your step back from the from the stairs. So, yeah, up to you guys. I'm covering Falgrim little by little. Like, what I think matters, I'll cover it. If it's just like some side shit, you know, like you can just grab a mushroom from that location. I... Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna go over that. And since we got our second upgrade, I really want to get the third one, so. But I also don't want to farm. So I think I'll just keep two upgrades for now, because in the next area we can get two more upgrade items. And then we will have four, and hopefully by the end of the yes. the it's run of the area, we can get 2,500 TARS, and then we will, once we come back, we can uh, buy the upgrade. So, yeah, let's actually go to the area. Our next location. So our next location it's over here. In this swampy water. And for the sake of accumulating tars, <laughs> I will take on these enemies that are gonna be in our way. Well actually this is the place where we got our first upgrade item. That it's pretty much where we're going right now, except like the other way. Instead of like going to the left side, I'm go. I'm taking the the route from the right side. So, like I said, it's kind of like these. This whole area is connected, but it's split off as well. And then there's all these like shortcuts, I guess, like through the tunnels. You can connect them if you can remember them. For me, I'm still trying to figure it out. Like it's, I don't know. The setting just look the same, and everything just kind of looks the fucking same. So, I don't know, I'm having a hard time trying to connect the, the freaking locations here. But as you can see, our hammer and chisel, look at this guy! This is what I'm, this is exactly what I'm talking about. He was just sitting there and all of a sudden he just fucking springs up and then he attacks you. It's like, what, what is this bullshit? Sometimes they get up slowly, sometimes they just fucking pop right up. I don't know, man. I don't know what's up with that shit. But anyways, like I was saying, the, the shortcuts, I mean, if you can remember, if you can remember them, then you can traverse Falgrim fairly easy because that's what's confusing about Falgrim. Unlike like the main areas where there's pretty much like after you explore, you know, it forces you to go straight. Falgrim, it's it's like a big ass circle where there's like a bunch of like tunnels connecting. So if you fucking want a tunnel, you'd be looping in that one area. I don't know, in the beginning I was just, that's what was happening to me. And I I had like kind of a frustrating time. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Like he stopped attacking but I walked forward into the tip. Just the tip. And I got fucked up. I like how sometimes enemies, when they see you murder somebody, they just fall on their ass like, oh shit, I don't want any of that. Gonna need to pop a mushroom here, just in case. Don't wanna die. I mean, we do have our second chance, but that is just a chance after all. Cause uh, if I can't get back into my shell, if I do get knocked out of it and I can't get back into my shell, I'm dead. And uh, another annoying thing about, well, I guess is you know Dark Souls style. But you can't really like, you kind of have to remember because every time when you exit from a main area, like one of the main locations you have to go, there's like a face there and that's pretty much a checkpoint. So have you forgot that you, that's like your last exited location or something like that and you didn't talk to the sister uh, and if you die, you'll go back to the checkpoint instead of the sister. So, I don't know if it makes sense right now, but 
Anyways, the the checkpoint system is kind of it's kind of annoying in this one. And so every time you come back to Fogwheel, make sure you like, you know, if you want to, in case you die, you want to respawn at the sister. Make sure you talk to her every time you come back, because if you just go, like, go from point A to point B, but on midway you die, you you spawn back from point A. You don't spawn back at the tower. You spawn back from point A. So you have to run your ass back all the way. I don't know, man. <laughs> Gets. It gets kind of, kind of crazy for me. So through this way, we'll we'll be on our first main location, which is probably the easiest to go through. The place where you get the hammer and chisel—that's where like the bitchy is. I would, I would say. So it's best to take care of things um, here, and then the next area will be in the, in the it's kind of like the catacombs area. And they'll leave somewhere else that's snowy. <laughs> this one, this one's like, it reminds me of like the Iron Keep from Dark Souls 2. It's, like, it's all hot looking and shit. And then the final location just, it's, it's weird. It kind of reminds me of like Destiny. But anyways, after you take out the archer, that's pretty much it. And those, that thing right there, see the white face on the right side? That's what I'm talking about. That thing there is your checkpoint. So like each time you come back from one of the main locations, um, that will be where you spawn if you die somewhere. All right, unless you talk to the sister in the tower, you will respawn back there. Unless you go to another location, you hit one of those checkpoints, then that will be your new respawn location all right and let's like, actually talk to the sister this time so we can get our free healing you've kept do not worry it is only a jest this path ahead is littered with monuments to suffering thought i might lighten the mood not that i've ever had much talent for humor I once knew a man who took the Sacrament of Ashes. He laughed all the time. Hmm. Now I'm rambling like an old crone. You're here for another sip, aren't you? She gives you a little lore about the area. And now we can... Well, we can't because we don't have any glimpse. But don't worry, we have some glimpse items. <laughs> so yeah, upgrading your ability is more of a drag than upgrading your weapon because you have to fall, you have to like watch out for the glimpse. So you need both glimpse and tar in order to upgrade it. Sip this and a sip of this fine wine. Why don't you? smoke choked my vision and tears welled in my eyes the world itself burned white hot but beneath it all there was nothing no monsters no gods only oblivion the consecrated fires revealed cinders and shadows yet I strained to see more Surely these sages offered more than the assurances of annihilation. Alright, so with that passive ability on, uh, there's a chance that we won't, but if we get hit, we won't take like straight up HP damage. Instead, we'll just cut out like 20% of our stamina, which, you know, it'll save our life. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Homes out.